he's out to stop the show for good. Hello, folks. Welcome back to our show reviews. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the book Phantom of the Auditorium. What a mysterious title, isn't it? And there's something even more mysterious than that. The front cover is pretty mysterious and uh, enigmatic. And uh, basically, it's pretty simplistic in a way. But you have that big uh, masked man who is uh, basically uh, standing uh, on the foreground. And uh, he's dressed all in dark. And uh, his uh, clothes appear to be uh, purple. And... Uh, yeah, mostly purple and dark. And uh, he has a white mask that is uh, basically uh, uh, put in front of his eyes. Uh, there, there are two holes, obviously, for, for his eyes. But basically, it's kind of, uh, yeah, one of those masks that are, that are being um, put uh, in front of the eyes, right? Like... Uh, on top of, of the uh on top of the nose uh those kinds of masks and uh yeah basically his hair is uh wild all over all, all around the uh all around the mask and uh yeah i think the choice of colors was pretty good in that book tim jacobus did a pretty good job basically everything is uh purple purple yeah purplish Basically, the title, Goosebumps, is purple. You have um, the cape of uh, the masked figure that is purple as well. So, pretty nice reflection. You have some uh, pink as well. as uh, The curtains look uh, pinkish and reddish. And uh, basically, it seems to, to me, at least, that uh, the masked character is uh, about to enter about to enter the stage, right? So he's standing uh, behind the curtains, and uh, he seems to be about to make uh, his uh, entrance, right? So he's actually about to uh, pull the curtains open and uh, enter the the stage, right? And uh, curiously enough, the, the stage looks kind of dark because, uh, yeah, it's, it's mostly dark, and now there's uh, a little, some kind of a green light that's, uh, some kind of a green light that seems to be pouring out. And uh, it's being reflected on uh, the character's pants and uh, and uh, his arm, his sleeve, and uh, some of his cape. But that's a pretty good front cover. It's pretty simplistic, but uh, it's good. It makes us want to read the book, at least. It, uh, it suggests some kind of mystery. And, uh, yeah, that's how we're introduced to this book, Phantom of the Auditorium. So, uh, now that I spoke a little bit about the front cover, I would like to, uh, basically uh, break down the story for you folks, as I usually do. So, before I start, I would like to mention that Phantom of the Auditorium is, uh, Actually, uh, a remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it, from uh, an old movie called The Phantom of the Opera. Now, mind you, I just heard that from uh, other Goosebumps channels. I haven't watched the movie uh, Phantom of the Opera. It sounds kind of good, uh, and maybe I should give it a shot one of these days. And, uh, yeah, someday maybe I should, I should give it a, a try. But, uh, yeah, I haven't watched it. But that's what I heard from other Goosebumps uh, YouTube channels, right? So basically, what is this book about? So we have our two main characters uh, named uh, Brooke Rogers, who's uh, a girl. And uh, her best friend, uh, her best friend named uh, Zeke Matthews. And basically, uh, most of the story is taking place uh, at, at their school. And uh, they're best friends, and they kind of like uh, scary movies and being scared and all that. And there's that big play that is coming that is uh, called uh, The Phantom. And basically, uh, that school play is going to take place inside uh, the auditorium, obviously. <laughs> and uh, they, they're going to be part of it. 
they're going to be pretty excited about it, pretty hyped about it. And uh, Brooke, our main character, is going to be playing uh, the role of uh, Esmeralda. And uh, basically, uh, she's going to be uh, she's going to be one of the main protagonists. And uh, Zeke uh, is going to her and Zeke are going to be the main uh, stars because Zeke is going to play uh, the Phantom. The, the, yeah, the role of the Phantom. He's going to be playing the role of the Phantom. And uh, that sets up uh, that sets her and uh, and uh, Tina off to a bad start. <laughs> They're set off to a, they're they're set off to a bad start because Tina was actually I guess hoping to play the role of Esmeralda instead, and uh, she's pretty competitive. But uh, I think she got another role though. But uh, she she's gonna have like a a side role, you know, like not a very not a very important role. I don't really exactly remember what exactly it was. Uh, I think she she's kind of she's some kind of uh, a stunt woman or something like uh, she would appear if uh, as uh, if uh, Brooke gets hurt or injured or or if she cannot perform at the last minute or if she if there's some some similar complication she would actually uh, reprise a role or something so basically Tina would be playing uh, would be playing as Meralda. And if something happens to broke, right? So that's basically how the book starts in the story. And uh, everything seems to be doing okay. But uh, there's that kind of a le legend, I guess. Or even, uh, yeah, that story, that background story. That background story about uh, the play The Phantom. And uh, apparently there's that, actually, yeah, actually that rumor. A rumor that uh, the set is haunted. Because the Phantom was actually supposed to, uh, it was, it, it is thought to have been performed in the past, but something happened, and I don't want to tell you what, because I don't want to spoil it, but ever since, people and teachers have been scared to perform it, and uh, nobody actually wants to try it, because uh, nobody, everybody's afraid uh, of it, yeah, they think that there's some kind of a curse, you know, that is looming, um, uh, ahead and all over the, and it is all over the, 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 um, uh, the stage, the, the auditorium or whatever. And, uh, so yeah, that, that doesn't make them want to perform it. So they kind of pretty, they're kind of pretty scared about it. So that's a good thing about this book that, uh, there's a good, uh, there's a scary atmosphere straight away that I really liked. And, uh, so yeah, they still decide to go on with it, but, uh, and that's kind of scary, and you have a, a real scary atmosphere that uh that sets in uh within the uh throughout the book throughout the beginning at least. So basically, uh, what happens is that uh they're still gonna play, and the teacher is gonna tell them about that. And I don't want to spoil it. So I'm not gonna tell you exactly what happened, but uh, yeah, it's been a few years basically, or a couple of decades maybe. Since uh the play was performed uh, for the first time, so it's being reperformed, it's being performed again, and uh, this time hopefully it'll it'll go, it'll go okay according to plan. Everything will be all right, but uh nobody can uh, of course uh ensure that right. So basically uh they're still gonna play and uh, everything and uh, discover a lot of things, a lot of interesting things about this, uh, about the play, about the auditorium itself. For example, there's uh, some kind of a trap door on the, on the stage, on the stage floor. And basically there's some kind of a lever or a, yeah, you know, something uh, like uh, a handle that uh, if it's being pulled, basically, uh, there's that kind of uh, an elevator, and uh, it'll go, it'll go down, 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 down. It'll go way down, uh, to the, uh, below the basement actually, below the basement, to an area that is not really um, well known. That is kind of uh, yeah, hidden. Uh, way, way beneath the the uh, the stage, way beneath the stage. 
and uh, it's it kind of uh, opens up on uh, on that big huge tunnel, and uh, the characters are gonna try to uh, explore the place, and I really liked it. There's a lot of mystery in this book, as I mentioned, and that was a pretty good thing, if you ask me. And uh, basically, they're gonna discover a lot of things about a lot of interesting things about the school, about uh, the play itself. And also, I don't want to miss that part out. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to admit that. I don't want to, yeah, forget about that part. But uh, there's that boy named uh, Brian who just arrived. And uh, he's kind of a scaredy cat, it seems. But uh, he 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 wanted to be part of the play. But uh, something came up. Like, he arrived a little bit too late. He showed up a little too late. So he's not going to have... So he's not going to be able to play. But uh, what happens is that he's still given the opportunity to help, you know, set up the stage and everything and uh, be with the others. Still, he's still uh, he's still allowed to stay. And uh, it's kind of like this um, some kind of a VIP character because he's allowed to see to watch them perform and everything. And uh, even though he cannot actually play you know, as a, as a character, he's still allowed to stay and help them uh, set up everything, set everything up and uh, stay and, uh, you know, um, yeah, watch the play, watch them perform and everything. And that's pretty fun, I guess. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, there are going to be there are going to be a lot of scary scenes and everything. The final twist is pretty good. And uh, I didn't expect that, mind you. And I kind of uh, swept me off my feet. Because I really didn't see that part out coming. I didn't really, I didn't, I really didn't see that part coming. I didn't see it coming. I got to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, so uh, perhaps I'm going to talk about my opinion now. Perhaps I should talk about my personal opinion on the book. I really enjoyed it. And it reminded me a lot about the movie The Gallows. I don't know if you've watched it. I said... 2015 scary movie that's kind of like uh yeah this kind of film where you have uh uh basically um a set you you know a stage uh you know a school play some kind of a school play and they're about to perform but they notice that uh the setting uh the set sorry the set is haunted you know there's that weird uh there's that weird story going around so basically, everybody's freaked out by it. It kind of had the same uh, vibe to it. Kind of have the same. It it, it kind of has the same vibe to it. It has the same vibe. Uh, yeah, it has a similar vibe. Uh, yeah, it it has a lot of good things. You know, I, uh, it has a lot of good scenes, this book. Uh, such as, like, the tunnel scene, really loved it. The play itself was pretty good, and a lot of you people have probably uh, been part of the school, of the play, of the school play that took place at your school, right? And the play that took place at your own school uh, when you were back, back when you were, you know, uh, at school, you know, in uh, middle school. And uh, that's probably going to be a very... I mean, for those who have read it already, most of you, I think, were uh, really liked it because of that, because it reminded you about your childhood memories. It reminded you about your childhood memories. And, uh, yeah, it. Uh, th so there's that kind of nostalgia associated with the book, with reading this book. So I heard that from a lot of people, you know, that were reminded of their early days of school and uh, in middle school and... Uh, how much they liked it because uh, they they were part of the school play. So reading this book was kind of like uh, reliving the experience. Yeah, that, that must have been pretty cool. I've I'm not I haven't been part of any school play sadly, but um, yeah, I wish I I wish I were because I would have enjoyed I would have probably enjoyed the book a lot more. I would have probably enjoyed it a lot more, but. Uh, Apart from that, the book is awesome, really. Uh, there are a few uh, maybe things that do not add up. Like, um, I don't exactly know how to explain, but um, 
I think the book is pretty good. There, there's nothing that re, that really bothered me while reading this book. I don't remember of anything that really, um, yeah, bugged me. And uh, so, yeah, I would say that it's um, maybe the way it starts is pretty. Yeah, the way it starts pretty good. The progression is interesting. Everything is good. But it's my favorite Goosebumps book. Because I, I did enjoy it for what it was. I think it's decent, it's good, it's uh it's enjoyable and it's entertaining, all that. But I still I still have, you know, when it comes to goosebumps, I still didn't think that was awesome, you know. Like it wasn't that great. I know I just said that it was awesome, so I'm just being uh I'm just um uh, so right now I'm kind of uh uh you know, uh, not making any sense because I'm kind of uh, already like uh, confusing myself and uh, probably uh, yeah, viewers. But uh, no, what I meant was that I'm not. I, I'm not trying to basically uh, say that it wasn't awesome. It was kind of awesome, but uh, not awesome in the sense that I really loved it, you know. I'm kind of like Michael Goosebumps on that, meaning I did enjoy the book. I thought it was decent. I thought it was good. But it wasn't that that great to me to some extent, you know. It was good, but it wasn't really that great. You understand what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, it was good. It was decent, but it wasn't awesome in, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah. Sorry if I keep, uh, you know, uh, meshing up by <laughs> claiming something, uh, uh, for example, at some point and then uh, the next minute saying something totally different. I just mean that this book was good. It was really good. It was, it's a solid good, right? It's not like just good, oh, okay, good. No, it was really good. So uh, I like the rumor part about this um, and the story part, the storytelling part about this whole um, ghost thing. I liked it. And uh, the Phantom, there's a nice story behind it. I'll let you find out for yourself something about a ghost, maybe. Yeah, now that I kind of said it, but really good. Uh, the progression is interesting. Our main characters are pretty re likable, relatable too. The story itself with the school play, pretty good, pretty enjoyable. And uh, characters, yeah, Brian was good. Yeah, he's kind of like a little, a, a younger kid who was kind of like, uh, yeah, a little bit like a, like a scaredy cat, right? Freddy cat, you know, he's kind of, uh, he's kind of, yeah, at some point really, showing us how much he's scared of uh of the whole thing like he really believes in it if i'm not mistaken he's really buying into that ghost stuff so that's pretty funny um the rest of the characters are pretty good tina is a little bit uh jealous maybe at some point but uh she didn't bother me that much brooke is a great character so is zeke yeah really enjoyed it uh the scenes with with the uh, the Phantom, uh, is there go is there gonna be a Phantom in this book? Maybe, but uh, yeah, I'll say that uh, yeah, there there were some scenes including a Phantom. Obviously, they were pretty good. Um, yeah, the the book itself is really a good read. It really it reads by really like it like it 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 feels right. You you understand? Meaning, uh, I liked it. I liked how it makes sense and everything. And uh, the tunnel scenes really loved it. You know, with the uh, the Underground Tunnel, really good, really well written. Stan did a pretty awesome job. I notice he's really good when it comes to, you know, dark spaces, like uh, dark uh, hallways and corridors and all that. He's really good, you know. He really sets the mood so well, you know, for this for this um, environment to, to, to be there, to exist. So really good about... It was a really good thing about this whole book. But yeah, the rest of the book is really enjoyable. So perhaps I should stop, you know, rambling about it and just uh, get on with uh, the rating. So if I were to rate this book, I'd give it um, 7.5 out of 10. 
it's a good, it's a really good book. But again, uh, I, I would, I would have wanted a, a more maybe scary story, a scarier story, you know. But this book was good. But uh, it's not really my cup of uh, tea. Goosebumps books. It's not really my cup of tea. Goosebumps book, but it's good. It's pretty good. It's just me again. I liked it, but uh, it didn't leave it. Like a, a great impression, you know, like it's not a book that I'm really fascinated by, that I really love beyond, you know, beyond all measure, that I really cannot wait to, uh, that I really cannot wait to talk about and uh, possibly reread and uh, tell you guys about. Uh, not really that kind of book, but still pretty enjoyable, pretty likable. A good story, a nice progression, everything makes sense. Final twist, really good. A lot of cool things, cool play. Uh, the school play was good. Really, really, uh, really well written and really uh, remarkable. That Stan can uh, pull off all these great stories in school. So yeah, most of the story takes place inside the school. So yeah, with the school play and everything. And uh, it's pretty much all about... Uh, the book, Phantom of the Auditorium, but it's pretty good. So like I said, 7.5 out of 10. So what about you folks? What did you think about uh, Goosebumps Phantom of the Auditorium? Did you like it? Did you hate it? And uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about it. And before I conclude this video, I would like to mention, uh, uh, I'd like to give a, a little shout out to a great Goosebumps YouTuber that I really enjoy. And, uh, his name is Grayson the Goosebumps Kid 1992. Really enjoy his reviews. He's doing um, an awesome work. Really excellent reviews. Really love them. Please check them out. I will try to link his uh, channel's name to to the description of this video. But he does awesome uh, Goosebumps uh, book reviews. Now he's uh, currently on Series 2000. He made uh, he reviewed like all of them. Like all the Goosebumps OG sixty two books, that that's uh, that's really amazing, and congratulations because uh, yeah, I'm still like in uh, on number twenty four, so I'm trying to get more reviews going. But uh, that's amazing, you know, to be able to you know review an entire series of Goosebumps books. So please check them out; they're really good. So all OG sixty two from uh, Welcome to Dead House to Monster Blood four, and uh, yeah. They're really good. And also, uh, I also like uh, how he reviews and uh, how he, um, you know, breaks down the book and everything. Really great, great work. Really, really great. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's uh, that's pretty much it for that review. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about uh, Phantom of the Auditorium. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And uh, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. I can't wait to hear what you... I can't wait to hear about what you have to say about it. I can't wait to hear about what you have to say about it. Yeah, doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? I can't wait to hear about what you have to say on this book, Phantom of the Auditorium. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next review. The Sword Channel is for you signing off. And now I'm going to be reading the summary. Lights, curtain, Phantom. Brooke's best friend, Zeke, has been given the lead role in the school play, The Phantom. Zeke's totally into it. He loves he loves dressing up in the grotesque Phantom costume and scaring the other members of the cast. Brooke thinks Zeke's getting a little too into it. But then, but then really scary things start happening. A message appears on a piece of scenery. The Phantom strikes. A stage light comes crashing down. Is someone trying to ruin the play? Or is there really a phantom living under the stage?